What is up everybody? This is the first video in a video series that I'm gonna call Surviving Engineering School. Who am I? Well, I'm currently a sixth year chemical and biological engineering student at the University of British Columbia in Vancouver, BC. Yes, I am in my sixth year of my undergrad. Yes, it has been a very long time. So the purpose of this video series is for me to share with you some of the tips and tricks that I've learned throughout my undergraduate degree. Hopefully you found this content useful. Uh, if you do, please leave a comment down below and I'll sure be answer any of the questions that you may have. All right, so the first online resource that I'm gonna recommend is Patrick JMT. Patrick JMT creates a bunch of math tutorial videos online that are free and available on YouTube. He's made videos from everything from first year calculus to geometry to linear algebra to ordinary differential equations, anything math related, he probably made a video on it. There's a reason why this guy has millions of views on his YouTube channel. So if you're stuck on one of those tricky math problems that you just can't get, I almost guarantee once you watch one of his videos, everything will become much more clear and you'll get it right away. So the second resource that I'm going to recommend is Khan Academy. What's great about Khan Academy is that not only does it have math tutorials, it has tutorials on chemistry, biology, economics, and a bunch of other things that you as an engineering student might find useful. So again, if you're stuck on any kind of problem, right, check out Khan Academy. You might have the answers that you're looking for. So the third resource that I'm going to recommend is Paul's Notes. Paul's written a bunch of online guides on linear ordinary differential equations and calculus. What I like about Paul's Notes is that it explains things a bit more in detail than a standard average calculus textbook. And also it has a bunch of step-by-step -step directions on how to solve each problem. So the fourth and final resource that I'll recommend is Wolfram Alpha. What's great about Wolfram Alpha is that it's really useful for those tricky integral problems or those really hard to do derivative problems that you might get in your homework. What's great about Wolfram Alpha is that you can type commands to it. Say for example, you want to find the integral of x squared from 0 to 8. All you have to do is type integrate x squared from 0 to 8 and it will give you the solution. I've used Wolfram Alpha on a bunch of numerous occasions. What you find in upper year courses especially is that the equations you get become so hard to solve by hand that it, it'll take you forever. This is when a tool like Wolfram Alpha becomes a really big time saver. All right, thank you so much for watching today's episode. Hopefully you find some of the resources helpful. If you have any more comments or questions or suggestions for future topics, feel free to leave in the comments below. I'll sure to read as many as I can. Otherwise, we'll see you next time. Peace. Yeah.